Hi guys, if your Wi-Fi connection is not working or suddenly stop working or not showing, then this video should permanently fix your problem in Windows 10 or 11. This is a common problem and I'm going to show you all that you need to do to resolve it. First of all, when you click on this network icon and you don't find your Wi-Fi icon here, just like this. Then again, when you come to Start, then Settings, then Network and Internet and you still cannot see the Wi-Fi showing here. Then follow these steps. First of all, you have to check if your Wi-Fi has not been turned off from your laptop keyboard. These are some of the keyboard combinations that you can use to turn on and off the Wi-Fi connection. For most brands, you press and hold the function key together with the Wi-Fi key as indicated on your screen. But for some other brands, you only press the Wi-Fi key button to turn it off and on. But if that is not the problem, then let's begin with the first step. First of all, right click on Start and click on Device Manager. Then click Network Adapters. So here, you are supposed to find your wireless adapter card here. This is your first troubleshooting steps, so never forget it. But in case you don't find your Wi-Fi adapter here, just like mine, then come to View and select Show Hidden Devices. After that, you should see some hidden devices that have been previously been connected to your computer. You can see I have Microsoft Wi-Fi Virtual Adapter 1 and 2 and TP-Link Wireless Adapter. This is my Wi-Fi adapter, but it is not showing. So here, click on Action and then scan for hardware changes. So after that, you can see my Wi-Fi adapter is showing and when I click on the network icon, you can see the Wi-Fi is present now. But in case yours is still not showing, then it means it's a hardware problem and we need to tackle it. To do that, you have to disassemble your laptop and find your Wi-Fi adapter. This is my Wi-Fi adapter. Yours can look similar or same. After I locate your Wi-Fi card and remove it as demonstrated in the video. After I check the connecting terminals and use an eraser to rub it gently to remove any form of dirt or corrosion that can build up with time. Please note that this eraser tip is very important and I've solved many hardware problems for many computer users, so please never ignore it. After I fix the Wi-Fi card back into the computer. And close the lid. After that is done, again come to Start and click Device Manager. And from there, Network Adapters. From there, check if your Wi-Fi adapter card is showing now. Mine is the TP-Link, but in case yours is still not showing, then it means your wireless adapter card is faulty and you have to replace it. But in case your Wi-Fi adapter only shows up here, but do not show up when you click on the network icon, then what you have to do is to again come back here to the network adapters. Then right-click on Wi-Fi adapter and click Disable, then Yes. Then again, right click on it and click Enable Devices. This step is very important and I've solved this problem for many computer users. After that, if the Wi Fi icon is still not showing, then again come to your search box and type Services and click on it. Then look for WLAN Auto Config. You can be tapping on the W key to easily locate it. So that is it, and I'll click on it. Now ensure the startup type is set to automatic. Then service status is running. So here, what I'll suggest you do is to click on this stop. 
Then again, click Start. This will reset these settings. After that, click Apply. Then OK. After that, check again to see if the problem is resolved. If not, then I will suggest you do the power drain. This step is very important and sometimes can solve the problem of a dead computer. First of all, if you can remove your CMOS battery and your main battery for about 3 to 5 minutes. What this process will do is to discharge any overstored capacitor voltage that may interrupt the power sequence of the computer. So it's very crucial to perform this action. From there, press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds. After that, put everything together and boot your computer again to Windows and I'm very sure this step will resolve your problem. And if this works for you, then please let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, please like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.